A heritage-saving extension for the controversial Stonehenge Tunnel would cost around £470 million more to build and operate than the current proposal, National Highways has said. The original tunnel plan involves the construction of a new eight-mile, two-lane dual carriageway with a two-mile tunnel for the A303 between Amesbury and Berwick Down in Wiltshire, close to the Neolithic World Heritage Site. National Highways has estimated that the scheme will cost £1.7 billion to deliver. The authority was tasked with providing more information on alternative options for the scheme as part of the reapplication for a development consent order by Transport Secretary Grant Shapps. National Highways' original development consent was thrown out by the High Court last year, sparking celebrations among history lovers and also modern-day druids who revere the site as sacred. It was then asked to provide more information and updates on various aspects of the project by Mr Shapps last month. The two alternative tunnel routes include a board tunnel extension, which National Highways claims would cost £340 million more to build than the current scheme, and a cut and cover tunnel extension that would cost £266 million more to build. Both the board tunnel extension and the cut and cover options would involve moving the Western Tunnel portal further away from Stonehenge. National Highways has estimated the additional costs of operation and maintenance for either tunnel extension alternative at £2 million per kilometre per year. Over 60 years, this would amount to another £126 million compared to the current scheme. In documents published on the Planning Inspectorate portal, National Highways noted that both a board tunnel extension and a cut and cover extension would be slightly more beneficial in heritage terms than the existing proposal. But despite this, the report read the DCO, Development Consent Order Scheme, remains the preferred scheme to deliver the benefits and to resolve the large adverse effect of the existing A303 on the OUV, Outstanding Universal Value, of the WHS World Heritage Site. In carrying out a balanced appraisal of the benefits and disbenefits relating to heritage, environment, traffic, programme and cost, we conclude that the additional cost of each alternative over and above the DCO scheme would not deliver meaningful additional benefits to the WHS that would justify either alternative being taken forward, it concluded. The body also confirmed whether four heritage assets were included in its application after a group of scholars identified that the assets were missing in the last consultation round. These assets were the remains of a large Beaker period settlement with burials, the remains of a probable early Neolithic settlement west of the Beaker period settlement, the remains of a probable early Neolithic settlement at the Eastern Portal and the remains of a Mesolithic settlement at Blick Mead. Worryingly, in its response, National Highways said that three of these assets are not recognised regionally as heritage assets. It added that it had already considered these assets in response to examination and therefore its previous assessment still stands. Mr Shapps has invited comments on the new information provided by National Highways. The deadline for responses to the documents is the 3rd of August 2022. National Highways submitted new environmental information on the planned tunnel earlier this year. This contained an updated report on the scheme's carbon emissions. The Moore Joint Venture was unveiled as the pre- preferred bidder for the £1.25 billion scheme in May, despite it previously being quashed by the court. So, what do you think? Is it worth spending more to protect the ancient and irreplaceable landscape? Or should the scheme be scrapped altogether? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and most importantly subscribe. Thank you for watching.